Welcome back. Chinese New Year celebrations are underway, and at one restaurant, it's the year of the swamp rabbit. Oh, it's that's really right. Cool. <laughs> it's not really real what's happening. But in the upstate, you don't have to miss out. There is a Chinese New Year's party that's getting underway very soon, and Mary Walsh is here with the Swamp Rabbit Cafe to tell us how we can all get in on this. Hi there. Hi. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So um, Swamp Rabbit Cafe, it's mm -hmm. a great place to go eat. I, how did you all get involved with having Chinese New Year's celebrations? I, I love that. Well, we like to do fun things, uh -huh. and my mom is Chinese, so oh, I grew so up cool. celebrating Chinese New Year. And since I can't celebrate it with my family because they're far away, I like to celebrate it with my swamp family. With your community. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's great. Nice. So tell us a little bit. Like, for example, we have these little red envelopes and, and help people understand kind of what's behind the new year. And this year is the year of the rat. Is that right? Correct. Year of the rat. Yes. And so one of the traditions on Chinese New Year is if you're a child, or in our family, we did it until you get married. So if you're 40 and unmarried, you still get these money, money envelopes. So you put money and in this. Yes, yeah, so you say, Gong Hi Fa Toi, that means Happy New Year, and Li Si Toi Loi means give me money. Okay, there's nothing. <laughs> these are empty. Well, all right, you guys are married, right? <laughs> that's true, that's so, true. <laughs> so what are some of the other traditions? Um, so I think every family is different. In ours, we would just go be with family, and that's just like most holidays. That's the real sure. purpose of it. But the kids would play with each other. We would do this. We would eat really good food, and then the grown-ups would go gamble in the basement. And we're going to update. <laughs> folks. We're going to update, folks. The weather has That's made the, the plan change. We've got the graphic up that says it's on Friday, but we're actually um, you're going to be doing this on Saturday now because of the rain. Yeah. So we made the call today. We were trying to hold out, but tomorrow is going to be a really nasty day. So now we're going to do it on Saturday from five to eight thirty. Okay. Perfect. So just move it ahead a day mm -hmm. onto Saturday. So if you had, if you were busy on Friday, now you get to go and have fun at the Swamp Rabbit Cafe with this stuff. And you, the thing I saw on Instagram that made me go, you guys have to come on and talk with us is these dumplings. Look yes, we're doing it. dumplings for the first time, but we've been taste testing them and making them for weeks. So they're really, really good. They're made with local chicken oh, from wow. our local farmers and local veggies. And they're all rolled by hand. Really we also have spring rolls and moon cakes scallion pancakes and the noodle lady food truck will be coming just because we expect a big crowd. The so. noodle lady. Yeah. How it, many folks I mean, do you expect? Is it, is it bad luck if you eat a dumpling Thousands? by hand? Oh really? <laughs> no, wow, you can totally do coming. that. I'm going to dunk All right, we're going to try this too. We're going to partake. So our chicken farmers are Bethel Trails Farm mm. and Southern Berkshire Farm. Delicious. Hidden Hills Farm. Those are our three main chicken suppliers. Oh wow. How well good done. Is that? Thank you. In America we like to do fireworks for New Year's. Does, is that something that the Chinese do? We won't be doing them, but that is common. It oh. is. Yes. So what else do we need to know about Chinese New Year celebrations and, and the history behind them, like the year of the rat, right? You think of rat and you don't really want to mix that with food, but here we are. That, yeah, that's a big joke for us. I'm a rooster. Um, and every different animal has different characteristics, like the rat is really industrious and really good at getting around. Um, and so every, I believe there's 12 different years, it just rotates. And I see you also brought what you're oh so famous yes. for. Your Not much to do bread. with Chinese New Year, but <laughs> our, we're famous for our bread. So I thought I'd bring one for everyone here. Um, people say it's addictive, so it's a little dangerous. Oh, dangerous. But I think if you're coming for Chinese New Year and you've never been, you should definitely leave with a loaf of our stack of bread. Absolutely. Take well, that home and enjoy that on Sunday. Well, I mean, you can easily <laughs> break off a piece and dunk it in the soy sauce. Yes, it tastes good with anything. Instantly. Especially butter. Now, you have some other events that are coming up after the Chinese New Year, so why don't you go ahead and give us a little preview? Yes, we have a dance party. So every month we do a dance party that's also a fundraiser. Ooh. And so this um, February 13th, we're doing a dance party, and it benefits Gateway House. It's an organization here in Greenville. Um, and then our next event is Mardi Gras, and that's a really uh, big event. We have a band. The Greenville Jazz Collective comes, and nice. we serve Mardi Gras food, and it, that's a really fun night, too. Well, I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you, how do you say Happy New Year in Chinese? Gong Hi Fa Toi. Gong Hi Fa Toi. Yeah. Is that Nicely good? Nicely done. You've done this Thank before. You. No, perfect. I've, I've actually seen it written out, but I didn't, hadn't said it, heard it pronounced. Uh -huh. And then you said something after it. Li Si Toi Loi. Which is give me money? Uh-huh. Li Si Toi Loi. Toi Loi. Mm -hmm. We all need to know Everyone that will know yes. what you're saying. We yes. all need to perfect yeah. the Li Si Toi Loi. <laughs> And Thank so, the, so the celebration is, when is it again? Saturday, Saturday. 5 to 8.30. Okay. So right. ride your bike over, eat a lot of food, and then work it off. Perfect. Swamp Rabbit Cafe. Thank you, Mary, so much. Thank you. Dan, the weather impacting even the Chinese New Year celebrations. 
Yeah, it was probably a good call on tomorrow because it is going to be wet. It may not be heavy rain in Travelers Rest or Greenville or anywhere across most of the upstate, but you know, it's just moderate rain and a chilly rain. That would certainly, uh, especially on a